Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to keep recording this time. I'm going to take the yeah, baby. I'm going to go. <laughs> Daryl, you do what you got to do. And just, Jaden, yeah. yell Ashley when you're back. We're good. Yeah, okay, I'm out of here. <laughs> All right, see you in a sec. Okay, I'm in the other room. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay, well. Hey. Hey. <laughs> How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How are you? Good. So I'm Jaden. I am part of our youth at First Grantham, and I just want to say I'm so excited to meet you. Um, I know this is kind of weird, the online thing, but it's been almost two years, I think, with all of this, so it's kind of the new norm. <laughs> Definitely is. Um, <laughs> Nice to meet you. Um, I'm excited to be here to get to know uh, everyone at the church. Uh, so thanks for having me. Yeah, for sure. So I have questions. They are weird questions, but again, that is our church. Our church is different. Our church is outgoing. And I think these questions are not your normal hello questions. <laughs> okay, let's hear them. <laughs> okay, so... The first one is, if you were a Transformer, what car would you be? Oh, man. Okay, so um, I've always fancied Lamborghinis, so <laughs> I'm going to have to go with that for sure. Oh, yeah. Like, what color, though, would it be? A hot pink Lamborghini? <laughs> <laughs> Might not be. <laughs> um, when it comes to cars, hmm. I'm more of like a jet black kind of car guy. Yeah, for sure. I feel like there's so much like wrapped cars and you can get like prints of everything and it just looks cool, but simple is also good at the same time. Exactly. Yeah. Just nice classic. Nothing to it, just nice black. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I think this question is on everybody's mind. If you were a millionaire... What would you do? What would you spend it on? <laughs> All right. Fantastic question. Um, I have no idea why you would have thought of that one. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. It just kind of came to top of my head. <laughs> um, let's see. First and foremost, getting something nice for mom, whatever she wants. Um, then second, I am definitely going to get my dream home nice. and then this might sound weird but third is a bit of a toss-up between um a vacation or just getting more musical equipment <laughs> <laughs> hey guys what you gotta do so, <laughs> speaking of your dream home what would your dream home look like would it have instruments everywhere would it, like, what color would it be? Okay, fantastic question. I honestly, I, I know I said dream home, but I don't have, like, this planned out image of what it's going to look like. Yeah. But I know some of the things that I would like to have in it. So, heated flooring, that's for sure. Um, I want one of those infinity pools. Okay. Um in-home studio and an in-home theater for entertaining friends and guests. Yep. Um, massive backyard with deck and an outdoor kitchen. Um, definitely a music room. <laughs> um, um, and most likely an indoor basketball court. Nice. Yeah. yeah. So all of those are amazing. I definitely, the pool and the theater are always at the top of my list, too. <laughs> okay, what kind of movies do you like? Oh, so I, like, I'm an adult child. I like any Disney movies, but I also like Marvel. Like, I will watch, I will binge watch any Marvel movie out there. Okay, what's been your favorite Marvel movie to date? 
Oh, the Hulk. I've, I'm in love with the Hulk. So really? <laughs> I got to go with the Hulk on this one. Oh, Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird, but the Hulk or that's, yeah. Or Ant-Man. <laughs> Ant-Man's pretty good. Ant-Man I've been kind of watching, too. They're like polar opposites. <laughs> oh, yeah, I know. Just, oh, but then Thor. Thor comes along, and now I'm just hooked on Thor. <laughs> <laughs> that's fair. That's totally fair. It might be the character that Thor is, like the person that plays Thor. Yes, but <laughs> it also might just be the movie itself. <laughs> I get it. That's totally fine. That's cool. Yeah. I've what, heard that quite a bit. So, <laughs> what movies are you into? Like, do you like Marvel? Do you like Disney? I don't know. Yes. Of... <laughs> um, I do love Marvel, Disney. Um. I enjoy the Disney movies that I, that I do end up catching, but I won't, wouldn't say that I've gone out of my way to stay up to date with the Disney or Pixar movies that have been coming out. Um, but when yeah, I do I see them, that. I do typically enjoy them. Yeah. I it's just Disney, I was born with it, so it's just kind of... But I like the old Disney. Like, this new stuff that's coming out, it's not my forte. I don't enjoy it, but that's okay. <laughs> Hey, the classics are where it's at. Oh, yeah. For sure. Okay, this question <laughs> is weird, but have you ever just were walking or going shopping and you're like, you smell something and you're like, oh, that's my favorite smell? <laughs> okay, you know what? <laughs> um, favorite... It's hard to say. It's definitely competing, but a smell that always, always catches my attention, no matter what, is Cinnabon. Hmm. That that makes sense. Like that does. <laughs> it's just like, well, okay, now I gotta go get one. <laughs> exactly. They know what they're doing. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, like you have a favorite cologne too? Do you have, or just? that like would you buy cinnabon cologne would you just be like yeah. <laughs> <laughs> huh. i was gonna say a quick no but now the more i think about it i'm like you know that actually you know that might not be the worst idea <laughs> no just like you're like mm, kind of smell weird ah, i just got some <laughs> Yeah, but I actually, I do have a favorite cologne, a, a personal favorite, and then there's a, a I guess, a, a, a popular preference, um, but my personal favorite is the Polo Blue Cologne. Okay, yeah. And then, um, I forget what it's called, actually, but the one that people respond the best to is, oh, man. Weirdly enough, it was a Swiss Army one, and I was so shocked. Somebody recommended it to me, and I was like, mm, I'm not sure if I want to do Swiss Army. They're like, no, trust me, do it, do it, do it. Yeah. And, yeah, it, I'm kind of glad I did. Yeah. I'm just glad you didn't say, like, Axe or anything, because... <laughs> <laughs> no. Or Adidas, like, the Adidas stuff. No, I'd rather pick Cinnabon over that. <laughs> I have one for you. Body sprays or perfumes? Oh, I don't. I I get headaches from perfumes, but I do use it. But I I think I'm gonna all those and just pick body lotion. That's my perfume. Okay. <laughs> it keeps clever. me nice and hydrated, and it also smells delicious. Very clever. I like yep. that. You know, just switch it around a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, so I've actually been thinking about this myself too. What? And like, if you could pick a song, anytime you would walk in a room and that song would just play for like 10 seconds or like oh, three man. seconds, what would it be? Like, you know, a little Darth Vader moment, just walking in. <laughs> 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 just going. <laughs> oh. Have you ever had that like fantasy? You're just walking in, you know, you look good, you feel good, and just a song <laughs> appears. What? 
what would it be? It'd probably be like that instrumental part of Eye of the Tiger. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That one for sure. I yeah. That, yeah. I I approve of that. That is <laughs> Yeah, that's a great question. I know, I I read it, I was like, huh, and then I started thinking, I was like, you know, you just can't go wrong with any Darth Vader stuff. But just any of those. <laughs> But yeah, I the tiger for sure, for sure. So, are you a Star Wars fan too? Then I know technically that's now Disney. So, oh, true. So, I used to be my uncle. He's like my fourth uncle. I forget his like real name. He draws for Star Wars. Like he's he's like in there in there like we go to the star wars conventions like Whoa. he designed the i don't know what they're called but like the white suits the armor i'm oh, really bad for the um um storm yes, stormtroopers yes he designed those and he drew them and he's <laughs> part of that so i kind of been just all over my whole life because of him and that he's going to, going to conventions. <laughs> like, a three-year-old little kid, I got so scared. But as I kept on going, there's interesting, so, like, the most interesting people you would ever meet. And they're so outgoing. And they're wearing these amazing costumes. And it's like, yeah. why am I here? But also, I love it. <laughs> like, I want to come again. <laughs> All right, who's your favorite Star Wars character? See, I don't know. I Yoda. Like, I have to say <laughs> Or the big, like, the big green guy, and he's, like, really ugly, but he, I don't know why. I <laughs> just really like him. Oh, Jabba the, I think it's Jabba. Yeah, something like that. He just is interesting, and he's so fun to look at. <laughs> nice. <laughs> like, he would just be, like, if I touched him, he would just be, like, a very nice texture. Nice texture, eh? That's interesting. Yeah, it'd be, like, slime. <laughs> like, <laughs> I love slime. I'm very obsessed with slime, so I feel like it would just be fun. Oh, were you part of that whole like slam phase that happened? Okay, so I loved it because it was fun to play with. But I, I like a couple of our youth. I know Kaylee. Um, she's one of our youth. She made a slime Instagram, and she thought she was popping. Like she thought she had like a hundred followers, and she thought I. It was great. Her career was going to go off. <laughs> <laughs> I totally called her out on this. Like, her brother Mason is probably going to text her if she sees this, but she definitely, she made a couple slime accounts. It was funny. But I definitely was the person to make slime. I just wouldn't <laughs> make accounts. So that's totally fair. <laughs> oh, but no, no shit. Like, no hate to anybody who's made accounts of slime. If you made an account of slime, who cares? Yeah. We're, Firstly, we're... I haven't, but <laughs> good to know this is a judge free zone. Yeah. For, uh, 100%. Were you into slime? Like, what do you like to play with? I know fidget spinners were big, slime was big, now fidget toys, poppet toys. I don't know if you follow the trends, but those are all, all in. <laughs> Um, so, yeah, I catch wind of some trends, so, um, I teach, so sometimes, uh, some of my students will talk about something I've never heard about before, but <laughs> yeah. by the end of their conversation, I'm like, okay, so I guess this is the new thing right now, cool. Yeah. Um, what was big for me? Big for me was like, oh, well, yeah, Pokemon. Pokemon was like the biggest thing. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I was a part of like that Pokemon boom that started the whole thing. That was incredible. That's such a great time. It, um, it was interesting, too, with the whole Pokemon Go game. People were getting hurt, though. It was yo. confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I, yo, I've never, I've never seen anything like that before. And, yeah, I'm going to be honest. I, actually, I jumped on. I definitely jumped on to that. <laughs> Like, everybody was going to Niagara on the Lake, and they were just, oh, there's, there's a Pokemon here, there's a Pokemon here, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go get my Starbucks, you can have fun with that, but I'm just going to go. Oh, yeah, like, the, the, 
crowds were massive that summer. Oh man, that was that was yeah, that was definitely something <laughs> to remember. It and it was like a movie too, because you hear on the news a couple weeks later, and it's like people getting injured because they're too focused on this, and it's like, isn't yep. this a movie? I swear, people are getting hurt over a video <laughs> game in a movie somewhere, but now it's happening in real life. It's just... wild. Yeah, it's like, oh, like, two car crashes because she wanted to get this kind of Pokemon because it was rare. And it's like, okay. <laughs> or the people that ran across the highway. Why? I, people would do anything, and it's just, our world has just been flipped. <laughs> for sure, for sure. Um, what was, like, your favorite Pokemon? I know nothing about Pokemon. So if you say a name, I'll just be like, oh, okay, yeah, I know Pikachu. That's all I got. <laughs> That's all I got, okay? <clears throat> Definitely the face of the franchise. Oh, no. I think he's very rare. <laughs> so, uh, me knowing Pikachu, it's good. <laughs> <laughs> if I had to pick a favorite, though, oh, man. Huh. I, wow, I really don't know. I know I always chose Bulbasaur to start off with, okay. but I wouldn't necessarily say he was my favorite. Yeah, that's a... I, I don't know. I know there's like a Charizard. Yes. And there's a blue guy. Blastoise? <laughs> yeah, that guy, yeah. Nope. <laughs> that's all I know. I know, I kind of got you stuck there. <laughs> yeah, no, that, that, I've actually never thought about that. Yeah. Well, there you go. All right, um, are you excited? This is kind of just a, a normal question. Like, what do you expect? Like, are you excited to meet and be a part of our family? Because I know we are, we've talked about you for a while. Ashley's told me so much about you, and I'm just over the moon. I'm so excited to get a new person, a new face over this weird time. So how do you feel? Like, are you good? Are you calm? Are you excited? I'm definitely excited and anxious in the uh, good way. Um, just more like anticipating getting to meet everybody or as many people as we can for the time being. Mm -hmm. um, getting to learn the culture and the environment. Um, Dan has had nothing but great things to say about the church and the church family, so um, I'm trusting it should be a pretty smooth transition, um, and yeah. Oh yeah, uh, the transition will be smooth, but the people that you meet are, we're crazy. <laughs> but we're okay, also so... amazing. Sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off. Oh, no, no problem. If you had one thing that you could tell somebody coming into the church, what would it be? Sorry, you cut off there, what? Oh, sorry. If there was one thing that you could tell somebody coming into the church, what would it be? I, I always tell people this. We are a family. Like, I've never felt so welcomed and so just overall excited to be a part of the biggest community I've ever met and the strongest and most encouraging and most outgoing people ever. Like our church is really that. And I'm so lucky to be a part of that. And I can't wait for you to be a part of that and experience what I've experienced coming into first Grantham. Okay. That sounds promising. <laughs> oh yeah. And if you don't get that out of first Grantham, like I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Because I know all of our youth, we all have the exact same thing. And I tell everybody that, that if you want a welcoming place and you really want a family and a community that will stick by you, First Grantham is definitely the place to be. Okay. It's in line with the people I've met so far, so I trust this is going <laughs> to continue to reign true. Oh, yeah. We're also crazy. <laughs> 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 okay. My last and final question. 
This one's a tough one. So you gotta really think about it. All right. Do you want to build a snowman? <laughs> um. Come on, let's go and play. <laughs> yes. All right, you're in. You're in. <laughs> I'm so That's glad amazing. you do that. I was a bit worried. I was like, "Is he gonna get in? Is he gonna say something? <laughs> <laughs> do I have to knock on his door a couple of times?" <laughs> All right, that was it. You're winning. <laughs> You're good. Thank you. Thank you. So, this was. I, I enjoyed this. Like, yeah, this was fun getting to know you. I'm super excited for you to be a part of our family and see and grow together. I like that. Yeah, I'm excited to be here. I'm looking forward to this new chapter and everything that it has in store. Oh, yeah. There's, you're not going to be bored. There's not going to be one dull <laughs> moment. <laughs> that's good. All right, I guess that's it. That's all the questions I have. Want to build a snowman? Answered it. Beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. A really a enjoyed plus. your questions. Thank you. <laughs> all right, and I think... That's it. Very excited. Loved all your answers to the questions. I know they were a bit weird, but that's it. All right. All right. I think we're good. I'm just going to talk to her and she's going to edit the camera. <laughs> <laughs> that was good, though. You A plus for that. I'm not going to remember that. <laughs> all, the slow man. all the youth. If we all like meet together, all these are going to say Disney is me and Disney are like this. Disney song. <laughs> I could sing any Disney song, like anything. But, oh yeah, you nailed it on that one. I mean, fortunately, that's one of the Disney ones that I have seen, so. <sighs> See, yeah. I wasn't too worried because Frozen is out there. Yeah, there's no escape in Frozen. Uh, there is. No. Snowman and Let It Go. Those two songs were like going for three years. It's still going. I still <laughs> there you go. Okay, there you go. <laughs> on the radio, just like driving around. Just on the radio, just let it go. It's coming on. I'm like, yes! <laughs> this is my song. Okay, I don't yeah. know where Ashley is. I think we're good to go. Um, I'm just... Ashley! Coming! Oh, she's there. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna continue yeah. to snack away at this. I'm sorry, you go ahead.